Back in the studio is my favorite gal of all time. All time. Lisa Waters <laughs> Lane. So we've been married 35 years, coming up on 35 in July. Okay. Mm -hmm. 34. Glorious. <laughs> I would repeat every single one. Some are better than others, but I repeat yeah. every single one with you. Anyway. There you go. Well, thank you, dear. So we come back to the studio, and this, this segment is all just what what are you seeing so to share some garden knowledge from you a different perspective mm -hmm. and so we have loaded up the garden center with lots of the spring new spring um plants mm -hmm. here at the garden center because we have a spring open house this is our yeah. 60th year in business your father harold waters started the place back in 1962 this is mm -hmm. our third location here on iron springs road We've been here since 1983, and he never dreamed we would use all the property. It's a <laughs> huge property, and he's, he he came in up until the last week of his. Yep. He would come in uh, almost weekly because mm -hmm. he loved plants. Yes, so he did. I th I should give a shout out to Quad City Business News. Mm -hmm. uh, their March issue, they put your dad on the front cover. And then there's a two-page spread inside about his life, what he did, where he came from, where he, how he came. So, so uh, Lisa's dad passed a, about three weeks ago. His services this week, and so they're celebrating. He was a businessman here in town, a gardener, a landscaper, and so those the agriculture folks. I'd like to shout out also uh, um, Mortimer Family Farms out in mm -hmm. Dewey. They give us a beautiful, it was very uh, nice. be beautiful gift basket. Yeah. Just loaded up with all their goodies mm -hmm. straight from the gardens. So just very classy. Mm -hmm. So all the business and agriculture folks have been rallying around us. So thank you all for that. Appreciate that. But flowers just make everyone do better. And we're introducing <laughs> those. I was hoping to have your dad. I'll yeah. see if I can get an old uh, a previous uh, um, interview with him. I'll see if I can share that. I'll, let me dig through the files and see what I can find. That would yeah. be fun. It would be. Maybe next week I'll, mm -hmm. I'll kind of air that. But uh, so our Waters Garden Center, 60th Spring Open House this weekend, all weekend. I didn't know it'd snow like three times this week. <laughs> Generally, want to, but it's spring. It's you know, spring. This week is spring. We wanted to be ready. That's We're setting our clocks back. So anyway. Is it back or forward? I have no clue. Spring forward, fall back. I'm thankful Hopefully. that uh, we live in Arizona where we don't have to think <laughs> in those terms. I know. We just do our own thing. That's a very Arizona yes, it kind is. of thing. Yeehaw. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know about yeehaw, but I have to think I'm going to put my cowboy hat on next time I think about. Uh, I like your hat, your shamrock hat. Yeah, it's, you know, cool. it's uh, St. Patty's Day. Mm -hmm. We picked uh, St. Pat. Your father was born on St. Patty's Day. So yeah. we picked his celebration of life Saint Patty's for day. that day. In fact, we used to. Basically, when he was running, we were working together. We'd basically have green everywhere yeah. to celebrate his birthday. It's kind of the start of spring, mm -hmm. something to kind of, and we're kind of bored. <laughs> we want to get ready for spring. So uh, yeah. I took out a full page ad when he turned 50. Oh, um, oh I remember seeing that. It was, uh, <laughs> It was a morbid. It was like, we're so sorry for you, Harold. It was dark humor. It was dark humor. Yeah. It was hilarious. Anyway. But he had the sense of humor. He would definitely appreciate that. Yes, so. yes, he would. It was all good. Yeah. So <laughs> what do we have that uh, maybe well, we can inspire folks let's do inspire. to garden some this spring? I do want to inspire. So we do have some beautiful spring flowers in. So this one, this is ranunculus. It's probably one of my favorite spring flowers just because of the colors. Oh my gosh, you get these deep reds, you get bright yeah. yellows, fabulous orange. Um, this one I just really love. It's kind of a pink blush one, kind of a variegated color. And it's such a cool plant and it just screams spring. It looks like a peony flower. Does it it smell? does. Doesn't smell like a no. peony. Peonies have that that very vibrant. Mm -hmm. The beauty of peony is that they smell good and they look good. Right. This one looks like a peony, right? But it's but not. very very pretty and wonderful to mix in with other things. But um, just dynamic colors. Definitely want if you want to do some spring pots, uh, spring baskets. Uh, this is definitely one you need to have in with those. And this will take the cold, so it's not. Oh yeah, this is an early spring thing, right? It's fine with that. You can plant it right now and you wouldn't have to cover it to, to protect it. It would just keep blooming mm -hmm. over and over. This will bloom 
pretty much all spring. I like the way that right. looks. That's like a double. This is when it pays to be tuned into the vlog, right. the video you can see thing, right, exactly. the podcast. But for you folks on the airwaves, driving by, going out to Costco, wherever you're going, um, <laughs> it's pretty. They're available it is pretty. Here it's like a big double rose blossom be almost. Four very, inches very across, mm -hmm. double flower, dark center, yeah. light pink, fluffy. It's like a, I don't know, ballet skirt or something. Or tutu. <laughs> okay. We'll move on. You're getting yeah. too descriptive. So this one is the ornamental poppy. This is another one of my favorites. It just screams spring. And so this one's a mix. They call it the gnome mix. Gnome, but like uh, garden, like garden gnome? gnomes. Yeah. That's kind of weird. So it usually has orange and white and yellow, uh, sometimes pink. So it's just, you'll get a variety of colors off of one plant. So this is orange. It's blooming right now. Mm -hmm. big, maybe it's way bigger than a silver dollar. It's, it's, oh, yeah. big, it's as big as a think four inches? napkin or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Small cocktail napkin. But each of these flowers, these are all buds. You can show mm -hmm. that on the video. Each of these are buds and they're going to come out in different colors. Yes. Oh, I did not mm -hmm. know that. <laughs> Brilliant. What? The garden yeah, guy I didn't know. Right. So I don't kind of know gardening. It's impossible to know everything about gardening. I just think they're so pretty. Just that papery blossom is very delicate. Uh, just I don't a know if they can see that on pots. the video, but the yeah. stems of the flowers are very hairy. hairy yeah. They're textured, which makes them very robust against mm -hmm. animals. Right. So rabbits, mm -hmm. uh, deer, javelina, I found, seem to leave this alone. Right. So it's because that's a defense the flower puts on to keep the vermin away. <laughs> poppies. Poppies do well. It's related to a California poppy. Right. Only on steroids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's more of an annual. Loves the yeah. cool seasons. Uh, but just beautiful out in the pots. Wonderful to look at. Really yeah. lifts your heart up. Makes you want to smile. and Makes you want to garden. Go spring is almost Oh, here. it does have smell. It does smell good. Yeah, yeah, smell that. It does have a fragrance. Yeah. Huh. Achoo. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> I know. My allergies are like, Whoa. Uh And the oh, last. The junipers are going oh, crazy right now. Yeah. Oh, I just man. got in here. My nose is yeah. burning. So this one is the Frizzle Sizzle Pansy, uh, which has you used to call them flirty skirts. So we have all kinds of pansies in all different colors. But I love this one because it has that uh, texture in the blonde. What do you go? Ruffled texture yeah. to it. Uh, just so pretty, so different out there. And that one's kind of a dark purple, but it also has that mix. So you're getting a, a few different colors in there at the same time. That one's drooping over the edge. needs a Viagra or something. I think it <laughs> off. There, the rest of them are all perky and pretty okay, and good. upright. Well, I'm glad you did hit it before <laughs> me. But those flowers, of all the ones we just talked about, are just so perfect for spring. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have Dianthus in. We have Dusty Miller. Uh, just so many wonderful plants right now that you could be filling your containers with and just in, in celebrating spring uh, because we definitely need to do that. We I, need some I would celebration. say too, if, if you're thinking flowers and, and you can have flowers, you can have a full on flower garden right now, even though there's snow mm -hmm. on the mountaintops, you can have that if you put the right ones, if you're putting right. these in, mm -hmm. if you're doing flowers this year, I would say even some bigger vegetables let's say in containers tomatoes and cucumbers and that kind of stuff get a bottle of flower power mm. it's our water soluble fertilizer so it's got a scoop in there um and and you, one scoop per gallon of water put it in your watering can top it off but if you were to fertilize these twice a month just just yeah. not that regularly just every other week mm -hmm. top it off and fertilize it with flower power you will have three times the amount of flower buds, size, color. It's made, we made this fertilizer to bring the color out of things that bloom. Mm -hmm. But it works equally as well on things that fruit. So anything, it's just got a lot of phosphorus in it. And that's what brings out that color, the size mm -hmm. and the flower buds. But if you're going to be flower gardening, get a bottle. Oh, see, oh, yeah. One bottle will cover a whole season. Yeah. But it really is a game changer. Hanging oh, baskets. Is. Yeah. You need, you have to have this to keep on blooming mm -hmm. and looking really good. Yeah. And it really does work. We we have many customers that come back in and go, oh, it does work. They do yeah. keep it blooming. So it's definitely worth doing. So Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners, yes, you can have flowers in your backyard as well. We'll be right back after this.